Welcome. Today we're going to talk about how I use Obsidian uh, and actually GitHub issues and Slack and everything to kind of track what I am doing, what I need to do, what I need to focus on. Because I got a lot of inputs, right? Email, Slack, GitHub issues, occasionally Trello. Uh, and that's that's really it. Yeah, that's really it. But how do I do that? Uh, what do I use Obsidian for in that? Just so that you know. Before we do that, a few ways to support the channel. You can become a member, curtismichael.ca slash membership. You can take a course, curtismichael.ca slash education. That's it. Let's dive into it. Now, first off, I do not believe that there is any magic bullet. I think most people, when they ask this type of question, are looking for like, oh, here's this one perfect system, and it just makes everything so easy, and I have to do like almost no work, and that's never going to happen. That's never the answer you're going to hear from me. The real answer is you got to pick one source of truth, just like you had to before, and you put everything in there. So let's look at my things three list for today. This is Monday morning. I haven't really sorted anything yet, so I need to know what I have to do. So you can see the first thing on my today list is go over the issues listed with the plugin. I actually know that's a priority. Usually I do not work um, for Proud City on Monday mornings, but I am going to, once I record this video and get it out, I'm going to actually work for them. And I also have another client um, from ProvPubs. I need to do a CPT template for Calosha and look at their email updates. I actually know they've sent me an email since then. So I will, uh, in fact, grab a... Email for updates on issues, and that goes to uh, Prov today. And that is actually really the flagged priority to check for them today. This is a deadline. So Things 3 has two types of dates. It has when dates, as in when and will I work on this. That's what I work with most often, because most times, if nothing, if I don't, you know, don't finish it, there's not actually a bad thing, right? I'm working on a big plugin for Proud City, and if I don't finish it on one day, then it's not necessarily a bad thing. It's just an update to an existing feature that we have that's going to make it work far better. But I know for this, I need to check for the email updates on issues. So I will come in here, and I'm actually going to push off the... This is the when date. I'm going to hit um, Command S to access that in Things 3, and I'm going to push that off to next Monday because I just don't know if I'll get to it. If I do get to it, then great, but I won't worry about it for now. I also know that there's the WCA email update, so we had some email issues last week. I'm not sure I got an update on that, so I do need to check in on that today. Next things for Proud City, right? So the Proud City Quick Menu is a big plugin that I'm working on. It has a GitHub issues associated with it. Let's go right to it. You can see I have a whole bunch of stuff here. Big list of things to do. Can't delete items from the Quick Menu. When you select a new menu, it should save the item. Done. Handle page and multiple menus. Haven't done that yet. Make sure that you're marking an item as draft. So this is actually a bug where if we mark a page as draft in WordPress, I need to go deal with that because it was drafting a menu. Deal with selected state for menu items. Uh, I think I've done that as well. Check in queue. I did that already because um, I found another bug. So what I'm going to work on today for Proud City is this only. This is the only thing I will focus on. You notice that some of them have uh, notes in there, right? So this tells me at the time, so I have context. So I don't have to come pick it up like, can't delete items from Quick Menu. How does this work? So now I have some notes on what it should do. You can see market item is draft, right? This actually goes to the GitHub issue and a specific comment where I debugged the issue and figured out what was causing the issue with our overall sites. So that's honestly really it. So if I go back to today, you can see I have some other ones. There you see email updates, right? Links out to a GitHub issue. Um, Fact Manager plugin. It's another plugin we have to work on building. And it links out to a Slack conversation and has a list of some of the things that I need to do uh, to get it done. So this is not a big project. This will turn into a big project when it comes down to it. I need to do a video and then I have some other things for myself. Uh, check out the Bright Mode theme, look at some paid collaboration and send out an invoice. So all I do every day is when I have something that comes up out of a Slack conversation or out of email or everything, I just put it in things three. Uh, if there are related Obsidian notes to it, then I actually just put a link to the notes because you can do that. Let's actually grab Obsidian for my other screen. And if I come in here, so this is the script that I'm working on right now, but I can come in here and I can copy a link to the file. Copy Obsidian URL right there. I can copy it and then I can just link directly to the note if there are more notes on it. Now, what I don't use is I don't use daily notes and I don't use these daily notes because I just didn't process them. That was a big issue. I take, you know, I do keep track generally of what I'm doing in the days with some time codes and some other stuff so that I can see what I'm doing. But what I found was that I put everything in daily notes 
and then I'd forget to process it. And I'd be like, what was that daily note? Like, well, who knows, two weeks ago that had something in it that I didn't track. So I'd way rather have things in things three, tasks in things three, that are sitting in the inbox unprocessed because that, that's they're only in one spot. Then They link, contain links to the notes. They contain links to Slack conversations to anything else. Pick one source of truth. Honestly, this isn't a magic bullet. You just have to do the work. Pick one source of truth. Put everything in. Todoist, OmniFocus, uh, Tick Tick, Things 3, pick your whichever one you want, put them in there, prioritize them, and then process your inbox. If you're saying there's way too many things and how do I incorporate my notes, what you're saying is I'm just not willing to do the work. That's it. If you like the video, thumbs up below. If you loved it, subscribe, hit the bell. YouTube will let you know something happened. Honestly, keep your notifications off. Go hang out with your kids. Do stuff like that. Other than that, have an excellent day.